Alan Carr took a cheeky swipe at Philip Schofield while filming his Christmas TV special this week. A TV was thrown into turmoil earlier this year following the former This Morning presenter's admission to an unwise but not illegal relationship with a much younger colleague, with the host stepping down from ITV altogether and making reference to the scandal during the filming of his show, Chatty Man Allen, 47, cracked a very brazen joke. Taking to the stage, he said, Oh, Hackney, why did I say I'd film this in the middle of a effing heatwave? I am sweating up here like Philip Schofield's lawyer, honestly, the Mirror reported. Allen remained friends with the presenter, 61, after he appeared on This Morning back in 2015. During the show, Philip was armed not only with tequila, but also with the dreaded worm that resides at the bottom as he challenged the comedian to a drinking contest. Allen then forgot the name of his own TV show. Three years later, they reunited, with Allen ending up so hungover from his night out with Philip that he fell into Hyde Park's serpentine the following day. In the months surrounding the scandal, This Morning has faced much criticism with ITV staff quizzed on exactly what they knew of the affair, leading to the broadcaster announcing they were bringing in Jane Mulcahy, KC, to carry out an external review to establish the facts. Jane Mulcahy, KC, has been drafted in to lead the external review of the facts surrounding the scandal and is expected to publish her findings in September. It said Holly is one of a number of people who work at This Morning who have assisted Jane with her inquiries. Meanwhile, senior ITV executives, including boss Kevin Ligo, have also been spoken to amid the ongoing inquiry. Speaking at the Edinburgh TV Festival this week, the ITV managing director said, she has been talking to everybody involved. They take your phone and look at every single text you've ever sent, email, WhatsApp. So, everything is available, lots of interviews, talking to everybody and I hope as soon as possible, but probably in September, she will make that public. Addressing how ITV handles duty of care, he added, We do, trust me, take it incredibly seriously. We haven't got anything to hide and if we can adapt and change our process to make it better, then we should do it on a continuing basis. ITV bosses have been under pressure to admit what they knew and when about the veteran presenters fling with a much younger colleague. They previously refused to answer questions from the mail about the investigation they claimed to have carried out in 2020 and over whether a new probe would be open. Earlier this year, in ITV's first concession of potential wrongdoing over the scandal, Personnel Chief David Osborne has informed staff of the review, hoping to quell growing discontent. Under fire Chief Executive Carolyn McCall sent an almost identical letter to Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser, Culture Committee Chairman Dame Caroline Dynan, and TV regulator Ofcom.